Welcome back to Mind and Magic, where we demystify the occult and talk about all things esoteric. Today we're going to discuss the purpose of life. So, let's get into it. No, I'm not sure about that one. I don't know if that checks out. So, I was in a meditation session when the question was posed, what is the purpose of life? And I received an unexpected answer that I found to be a bit funny, but upon meditating on it further, it made more sense as more came to me. The answer was very simplistic, the purpose of life is to grow up, which I found quite funny. Now, at first I thought to grow up was just to survive, like, duh, the purpose of life is to live as long as possible. In order to grow up, you have to survive. But that's not what it meant. What it meant was mature. To grow up is to mature. To not be a child anymore. And unfortunately, it's a big problem in the world today. I look around and I see kids who are more mature than a lot of adults these days. You know, everybody seems to be feuding and fighting, divided. A large portion of the population is offended by everything and basically throwing temper tantrums. In today's world, a lot of adults never really grew up. I mean, I know someone, he's a friend of a friend, he's never really been my friend because of the way he is, but I know him, who still gets drunk and gets into fistfights. In the middle of the gas station convenience store, somebody sent me the footage. Like, oh yeah, he's still the same as when we were in our 20s. And he's older than I am. He never grew up, he never grew out of that. I mean, that's how I met my girlfriend. This individual got tossed out of the bar for being disorderly. And he's like looking in the windows. And she made a comment, who's that idiot? And I'm like, yeah, I unfortunately know him. And we talked and we hit it off. The point is, there's a lot of people who just don't grow up. They're the same way, doing the same things. Growing up is all about change. It's changing who you are for the better. It's changing your values. And it's the people who never change who don't really succeed. I mean, think about it. You really have to change yourself in fundamental ways to succeed in this world. I mean, I know I had to. Uh, there's a scene in Game of Thrones where Master Aemon at the Wall, I believe that's his character's name. It's been a while. He tells Jon Snow to kill the boy and let the man be born. In other words, put away childish things and behaviors and grow up. Kill the boy. Jon Snow, winter is almost upon us. Kill the boy and let the man be born. Growing up is also about taking responsibility. And how many people take responsibility these days? Everyone's trying to pass the buck onto someone else or their opposition. And most people are like that as well because they haven't done any work on their ego. Now, understand that Lucifer, the angel of light, is often depicted and is said when evoked to take the form of a child. A fair and magnificent looking kid, but a child nonetheless. And one of the reasons for this is many of the characteristics of Lucifer that led to the downfall of the angels who followed him were those same characteristics of a bratty child. Needing the attention. Look at me, I'm the best. And think about how much influence these have in the state of the world today as I go over them. But needing the attention. Being jealous. I should be in charge. I should be number one. Rebelling. Throwing a fit. Throwing a tantrum. Holding a grudge. Being vindictive. Blaming others. Not accepting responsibility. Seeking power for power's sake. Because if they take over enough, they'll be number one, and they'll control everything, control freaks, when all of these qualities should negate them from being the ones in power. It should immediately disqualify them. But it doesn't, unfortunately. And then you get people who care more about their power and prestige than they do the country that they're ruling, and you get a lot of problems. You remember back, I forget which video it was, it was certainly one of the early ones when I pointed out how Anakin Skywalker was like a bratty child. And of course, he ends up becoming Darth Vader, who cared more about power. You don't know the power of the dark side, as he would say. No, I think it was the Alex Jones, Piers Morgan 
video on synchronicity. I think that's where I first started going over that. The point is you have to kill the ego. If you are a hermetic magician, you need to do this. As Maester Aemon in Game of Thrones said, kill the boy and let the man be born. The ego is the boy. The ego is the child. And not a nice one either, a snotty bratty one. For it's the ego that is always accompanied within maturity. That's it right there. That's the lesson. Because when your ego bobs up, that's when you know that you have some growing up to do. And this is for everyone, because no one is immune to this. Even after doing a lot of work to break down my ego, I still, on occasion, have caught myself saying, oh, I shouldn't have done that. It happens. But we all have work on the ego to do. Some more than others, but the important thing is to get started. No change will be made. No growing up will happen if you don't start. You know, people saying that this country and the world itself is in a lot of trouble right now. And I can't disagree with that. But it's really of no surprise either. Humanity is running exactly as intended when the clashing of egos is a predominant factor. Because no good will come of it. And if you know Hermetics and have followed this channel for any length of time, you know that by working upon yourself, that's how you create real lasting change. I want to thank you all for listening. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Please visit mindandmagic.com where something will be on sale. Follow me on social media and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone needs his diaper change. <laughs>